Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Guild of Heroes on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Guild of Heroes and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Guild of Heroes. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to start we have to launch our favorite web browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue. Going to the next URL I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type this URL, because there's a clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up there on our internet site of Usidility, exactly where we include a in-depth explanation on how to obtain Guild of Heroes on computer. We search lower a bit and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After we click on the link, we arrive here on the website of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Guild of Heroes on the PC. As you can see from here we access some advantages of running this emulator. So we are ready to proceed to download the Guild of Heroes by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is. Here is located the download. It's a file to execute. What we have to do is to run the installer. OK. Then we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the computer. We clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to view the installation software better. The installation software is very easy to use. It contains a couple of options. Install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path really does. We merely click it. And then we note that we get here the path where in fact the emulator can be set up. If we prefer to modify this directory we must click on this browse button. And now we opt for another directory and set up the emulator exactly where we want. I am going to keep it by default. I click on back. And therefore I simply click on install. Great. The installation commences and it is going to commence along with the download of all these megabytes that happens to be shown on that screen. The time you download it it is likely to be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed will go faster or slower, depending on your type of connection and depending on the velocity of the emulator web servers. Now they are going really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be launched successfully. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets to the end, the emulator will be started for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator was already started, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it has made a couple of icons there on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon will be the only one we are concerned with. Every time we are planning to operate Guild of Heroes on the PC, we double-click on that icon and as a result run the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, Players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next step, which is actually a must-have, and that's to visit the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is launched. In this case we are required to log on. So now once we are right here, we must absolutely accomplish this next step which is mandatory. Therefore simply click on, Sign In. Presently it shows, Checking Info. It may once in a while get stopped at, Checking Info. That's why it isn't going to proceed. In that case, you could attempt to log in in after a number of hours and it may most certainly be repaired. At this time we're going to type in our email address and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email as well as its related password. For example you can use the same exact email you are using at this time in your YouTube account. So that I am going to enter my data and I'll come back when I have completed it. Voila! Info inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We will agree to them all by clicking, I agree. 
Following that, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You might keep it checked and this will produce a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it. You do what you want. We simply click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and completely on its own. To set up the application, we have to get to the emulator desktop by clicking the icon designated green colored. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator for Android, we notice that we find here the install app button. We just click on this button. On this page we have got the video game. Let's mouse click right here on the install option that I'm just displaying now in green. This action will commence the setup. At this time it should install the video game. It usually takes a while or perhaps it might possibly be extremely fast. This all is subject to on our internet connection. It has just finished installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing that option I'm presenting in green that allows you to run Guild of Heroes for the first time. I am by now on the emulator desktop, and then we are about to simply click that new Guild of Heroes icon that has been generated. That video game is started for the very first time. Currently there we end up with it. I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the sound level of that emulator. This is right here. We use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator and also to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we should activate the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is actually the first one. We mouse click on that icon which I am mentioning in green. Thus the monitor is maximized, getting one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Granted that we need to appreciate the app in full screen, we click this particular app icon. And thus we would likely by now be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To leave the complete screen setting, push the F11 key. And we'd by now play in standard display mode. At this point, I am choosing to reveal you the key's mapping and that is actually rather appealing. This way we will likely be capable to utilize the video game far more easily. The first thing is to press this keyboard icon. And right now there you will be able to complete the appropriate setups. I'm going to let the default configuration, though if you desire to improve this, you can also achieve it without having problem. As you can observe, the emulator is entirely in our language. In certain cases it occurs that the emulator is presented in the erroneous language, as an example, in Chinese language. And thus to place it in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. So here throughout various other configuration settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We may very well opt for the language we like, English, Japanese, and so forth. When the language is selected, we should save, the emulator will restart, and the game, next time we launch it, would as well be in the preferred language. Right now, there's another thing that we need to take into account, and this is that we will get an email indicating that a new electronic device has been linked to our Google account. It will likely check with us if we are the people who have connected that device. Yes, we ought not worry, since the emulator is behaving like an Android electronic device. So you can find which electronic device is currently being emulated. We come back here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Be sure to browse here to the model option. And there we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks. So much for my video tutorial. I hope that you liked it, especially that you found it useful. In this case, offer it a great like, subscribe to our channel, and any comments, questions or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. You could even comment things on my Twitch channel. I perform live streams from time to time. You get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Click on any of these training videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following online videos. Bye.